Hi students, welcome to online classes. Today I am going to explain you how to make online payments. How to make online payments. Okay, so what you should do, first of all you should log in. Okay, so I have logged in. So once you log in, you will uh, get a screen like this. You will get a screen like this. Okay, so here what you should do, you should select your subject. Sorry, select your grade. So I will select grade 9, 10, 11. So I am a grade 11 student. So that's why I selected grade 11. Methani monadha karandone or grade 11 na grade 11 ne ka select karandone. So after that what you should do you should select the medium. So I am selecting the English medium. So after that you should select the English medium. After that once you select the English medium you should select the relevant subject. I am selecting business and accounting. Once you select the business and accounting it will ask you to select the word the lecturer name. So what is the lecturer name? So I am selecting here Hilmi Hassan. So after that what you should do? You should click the show lesson. Once you click the show lesson, scroll down. So here, here you have the timetable. You have the timetable. Okay. So here example I will show you here. Grade 11, business and accounting, English medium. Okay. So June batch 1 every Saturday. So, what is the chapter? Financial statements. Amount is how much? 1400. So, like that, here also you can see. Okay, grade 10, business and accounting, English medium. June 2020, badge 1, every Saturday, 3 to 4 30. So, as I am a Okay, I am a grade 10 student. Mama, grade 10 Sishek Nisa. Uh, what I should do? I should click the word add lesson. Okay, so I want to book this lesson. I want to request for this lesson. What I should do? I should click the add lesson. Once you click the add lesson, scroll down, scroll down, here you, you, you will get a mark remove lesson. If you want, you can click and remove it. Okay, if you want to make the payments for this subject, okay. So, scroll down. Once you scroll down, come to the last. Okay, here you have two options. One is bank deposit or transfer or pay online. If you are depositing in the bank account, mean click the bank deposit or transfer. Once you click this one, uh, you can request for that subject. Okay, so after that what you should do, you should uh, deposit the money to this account. Here you can see HUM Hilmi, so account number, commercial bank, grant pass bank. Okay, you, to this account only you should deposit. So today I am going to explain not about that one. Okay, I am going to explain how to pay online. So click the pay online button. So here you can see the amount 1200. So I am going to pay online. So click the pay online. Once you click the pay online, so it will ask you to, you want to pay online for this lesson. Okay, so click OK. Once you click OK, you will get another screen. You will get another screen. In this screen, they are saying, Thank you, Helmi Hassan. Your request has been lodged. Okay, so after that, uh, here 1200 same amount is there. Uh, it says what? Go to online payment. So I am going to click what? Go to online payment, this green color button. Click that one. So once you click, once you click, okay, you have several options. So what you can do, you can pay through Visa card, Mastercard, American Express, Discover, uh, and Genuine, Easy Cash, Mobile Cash, Free Me, uh, or otherwise if you have a Sampath Bank online bank transfer, through this one also you can pay your uh, what class fee. So okay, I prefer, I always prefer Visa card. So Visa card is easy. So Visa card means if you have a debit card. Okay, in the bank account. Okay, if you have a debit card, so what you can do, you can pay through online. So, I'll click the visa card here. Once I click the visa card, once I click the visa card, okay, wait. Once I click the visa card, here it will ask you to write the name of the card. Name of the card. After that credit card number. After that CVV. After that expiry date. So, what I should do, so I'll show you what are these details. Okay. Give me some time. So, what are these details? You can see here. I'll go to my gallery and I'll show you these pics. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. So, here you can see this is the front side of the visa card. So, in this front side, so they, are, they ask you to select the word. They ask you to select the word. You can see name of the card. So, name of the card. So, what I should do? Where is the name of the card? Here, down you can see a name. So, what is that name? David Thomas. What is that name? Uh, that name only you should enter. Okay. So, in that part, you should enter David Thomas. Second one, what they are asking, what they are asking, uh, the card number. So, you can see a card number here, 4, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 0. 
ah this is what your card number okay so after that there is another option it will ask you uh, the, it will which is requesting you to enter the cvv so back side of your card you are getting a digit something like this so this three digit number so this is we call as what cvv number so you should enter this cvv number after that it will ask you to enter the what you are expiry date so here you can see expiry date here you can see it's what baba 12 2 ah so like that front side of your card there is a there is a expiry date so you should uh, enter that expiry date also so once you enter okay once you enter okay once you enter you just click the pay 1200 you just click the pay 1200 so i'll do it for you okay so now i'm going to enter the card number after that what i should write my expiry date once i finish this one okay i now i'm going to click the what pay 1200 click the pay 1200 don't save the your card number in your uh, phone it's better so after that so it will, you will come to a screen like this purchase confirmation one time password will be request to the number so here i gave a number this is my phone number okay if you have already registered in the bank you would have provided a phone number for that number you will get a code okay so now i'm going to click here you can see a send pass code okay here you can see a option called send pass code So now I am going to click that one. If I click that one, uh, I will get a message to my number. You can see that one. Wait. So I will get a message. Ah, uh, here I am getting a message. Ah, uh, in that message you can see a number. Ah, uh, here the number. Okay, I am entering that number. I am entering that number. Give me a second. I'll open the message. I'll open the message. Once I open the message, okay. So you can see, okay. Four. So I'm going to enter the number here. Okay. So after that, click the submit. After that, click the submit. Once you click the submit. Ah, uh, here it says payment approved. So your your payment ID is there. So don't back. Okay. So until you uh, receive a page like this. Okay. Don't back until you uh, get a page like this. Thank you, Hilmi Hasan. We receive your payment. Sometimes, uh, if you if you are clicking the back button, sometimes uh, it won't be updated in our system. So until you receive this screen, so please wait. Okay, this is the way uh, of making the payments online through the website. Okay, if you have any doubts regarding this payment, you can contact my number zero double seven three double five four two six two. That is my number. Or otherwise, you can see here there is a WhatsApp option. Okay, if you click this WhatsApp, okay, any issues, any issues, okay, uh, you can contact our team. You can contact our. Okay